Good morning, everyone. Ding a ding, a ding a ding ding. We got the the Nash's Contos. I don't know how to say that. Tanash, Tanash Contos. In the mother. How you doing, brother? You think Cardano's going up thirty cents in the next six months? Are you uh, one of those Cardano fudgers? Are you a Solana Maxi? Are you one of those? You one of those, huh? You one of those? Anyway, good morning, everyone. Tom, a.k.a. No Street Thomas, world's greatest economist. A ding, 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 ding. A ding, a ding, ding. A ding, ding, ding. Um, kind of waiting to see. I don't know if we're live on Rumble. Hopefully I didn't screw that up. We are live on YouTube. Only one person in the house. And he's a Cardano fudgester. Market, market not looking so hot. CPI came in a little hot. Oh, is this thing? Come on, Rumble. Did I screw up, bro? Oh, I might have screwed up on Rumble. Gosh darn it. I hate it when I do that. All right. Give that a little bit. Sometimes it takes... I'm not even, Rumble, honestly, Rumble might be a lost cause. Uh, but I'll keep doing it even though it costs me money. Cost me about a Chipotle burrito a month. Yeah, I don't think this is working. All right, CPI came in a little bit hot. Looks like the market's over. I'm talking like 0.1%. Looks like the market's overreacting. Let's see. Are we going to get a reversal? Are we going to, is this just a fake out? Is this just a little shake? Anunnaki in the house. Long time no see. How you doing, brother? Did, did the Cardano great news? All, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard because it's better than yas. Uh, we're going to get into that. It's, it's, I don't know if it's hopium, copium. Lucky duck in the house. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. What is going on that we got lucky duck and Anunnaki in the house? All right. E mini S&P down 62. Down goes Frazier. NASDAQ down 200. Bitcoin futures, Bitcoin cash down 1400. Gold down 16 bucks, but at all time highs, 23.45. I most definitely screwed up Rumble. So we're just going to take that offline so people don't even find it. I'm going to the chapel. I don't know why that song has been in my head lately. All right, and enough obsessing over Rumble. Cardano question mark? What do you mean, brother? Brother, I got some hopium, copium, depending on how you look at it for Cardano. Uh, it's probably borderline copium, but we'll see. All right, AMD down two bucks. That's not good for the good kids. I'm now down... $73 on that trade, Coinbase down $3. Uh, that is now in the money. And I'm down about $153 on that trade. Overall profit loss, $153 loss on a put spread when you're up, what you're up on that overall trade, kind of hard to complain. But I'm going to do it. Miners are down and Tesla. Let's check old Tesla. Tesla down 254. Cardano drops out of the top 10 yet. It's not the first time. Might not be the last. Or maybe it is the last time they drop out of the top 10 because they never get back in. What's happening? Uh, Dogecoin. 
Tom, Ton, Ton coin, a couple garbage ass coins. That's what's happening. Let's see what's happening in crypto. Uh, I have some good news for Cardano. Uh, let's see. Ton from Cointelegraph. The rally comes a day after Ton Society developers and incentivize users to verify their identity using palm scanning technology. I don't even know what that means. Uh, Crypto Crow is going down a rabbit hole thinking we're, we're about to go down George Orwell's 1984. I mean, aren't we like practically there anyway? All right, Bitcoin 67.6, uh, CPI came in 0.4, forecast 0.3, and we're inflation rate month over month. Like, is it really that disastrous? Core inflation rate 3.8 versus 3.7 expected. Inflation rate year over year 3.5 versus 3.4. Oh no, let's let's panic. <coughs> is this a is this a reaction we should have or is this a little bit of an overreaction? Do we think? I think bonds were down pretty big on this move too. Bonds down one point and 10 ticks to 116.21. Lest I remind you, bonds go down, rates go up. Uh, bonds go down. It sure as hell ain't going to get a rate, rate pause or cut. I mean, a rate pause, sure, rate cut. Mm. Mm. Probably not going to happen. We're going we're gonna to get a little bit. We're gonna get a little bit chippy out there in the markets. All right, Nasdaq down down 190. Not really seeing a comeback yet. We're about 11 minutes away from when you might get that 950 reversal, 950 EST. All right, let's get into some Cardano Hopium Copium. This this news actually came. This is I like DZ. This news came from DZ.eth. He's one of the few guys, I don't know if they're still hit network. I don't know if he's still on hit network. This is one of the few guys over on Big Boy Crypto that I actually liked. He seemed like a down to earth, cool dude. A little bit of a nerd, which resonates with me. I'm a little bit of a nerd, but I've always kind of liked this guy. He's a Cardano. He loves Cardano. He's always wearing Cardano shit, hats. NFTs talking about Cardano. He actually came in with some pretty impressive stuff. I don't know if he stole this from someone or he got it on his own, but let's run with it. Did you know Cardano has one of the most robust developer ecosystems in all of crypto? Here's a chart detailing GitHub commits. Yeah, I mean, Cardano, Cardano does a lot of GitHub commits. They got developer activities. But the dApps aren't doing anything worthwhile. Wrong. World Mobile Token. Blah, blah. Book.io. And we talk about those all the time. Of course. Great. World Mobile Token. Um, I'm actually looking to pick some of this up. But not on this crazy hype FOMO SpaceX rumor. Okay. There we go. Coming back down to Papa. Oh, that's Charlie. Charlie's down. They had an incident. All right, so World Mobile Token's coming back down. Will I enter World Mobile Token? Maybe. I'm not. Look, if I don't buy any new cryptos the rest of this bull market, I'm not going to lose any sleep. I've, I've made a lot of purchases. Hopefully they work out. I don't. You know, any, th any crypto I sell now and buy, you know, I, I got to be really compelled. I got to really think like, man, this is going to make a 10 to 100x and I'm going to be able to time it. There is a probably a coin toss chance. Any cryptos you buy now, the bull run might be over before 12 months. And I do like to get into that long term capital gains. I'm a min maxer. You know what I'm saying? I'm a min max certain angles. 
Is it better to take a thousand X profit and pay short term capital gains versus a three X profit on long term? Well, I mean, come on, of course. But thousand X's are just mostly smoke and mirrors. People say, oh, you could have thousand X. You would have bought such and such at such and such and held it the entire time. I want like hard evidence of all these supposed cases of where people did this, not just theory, right? That's mo that's what keeps the that's what that's what drives it, keeps the dream alive. And people put up fake bullshit on Twitter to get you believe it, so that you join their trading groups and shit. All right, snack. Ooh, ooh la la, snack getting to a price. I I might have to buy some. Uh, my target's right around when it dips below 0 0.001. We will see memes with an uptick again, guys. You can bet on that. Problem is, I'm if I'm selling Cardano to buy snack, I mean, Cardano's down too. You know what I'm saying? Paying Peter to rob Paul. How do, robbing Peter, robbing Paul to pay Peter. How does that expression go? I could send over some money, I guess. Like, it would be nice to be able to send over my hand. I don't want to buy Cardano, send it over, tax event, to buy, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to send over, where's that stable coin? Where's that USDC everyone promises us that no one talks about anymore? Well, you can get USDC and USDT on Cardano top. Yeah, it's wrapped and the liquidity sucks and the slippage is insane. It's practically worthless. Men swap point oh three four nine. Down 5%. Uh, I mean, everything's down, but let's see. Pepe down 3.8. Snack down 5.77 versus Cardano. Down 3.9. Stacks holding up pretty decent, 3.02. We love stacks around here. Celestia. Wow. Well. That went out my speakers. It's not supposed to do that. Let's try that again. Sometimes. There we go. I FOMO'd into some Celestia. FOMO! I'm down. I'm down money in Celestia. It's the only real investment that I've done in the last four years in crypto that I'm holding and that I'm down. I smoked. I smoke I put a I packed a bowl of Kool-Aid and I smoked it. <laughs> smoke that crystal Kool-Aid, brother. Ooh, Solana 164. Time to pick up some B5 Bobana. Solana. Solana's getting hammered right now. Transactions failing like crazy. Bot spam, arbitrage spam. Uh apparently I was reading some threads and articles about how there's a lot of big wigs. Big baller baller shot callers at war on Solana. Causing a lot of these problems. Patches coming soon. Now let me tell you something about patches. I've been in the business a long time. Patches can make things worse. Have unexpected consequences. Um, yeah, but, you know, I'm sure Solana, like, let the, I would say if a bunch of FUD comes in Solana and you can get a good entry, maybe go for it. Uh, I have my reservations. I've always had my reservations whether I think Solana long term can survive, but I think in the short term, and but who knows when it's going to blow up, right? Or if it blows up, I'm not saying it will. Maybe it becomes the greatest layer two on the planet. Maybe it overtakes Ethereum. Maybe invest in. Maybe I'm not saying it's not impossible. I'm not. I have no idea, right? I don't have some magic crystal ball. I just know from a tech standpoint. Solana is not impressive at all, at all. In fact, from a tech standpoint, oh, it's got high TPS, Tom. Yeah, yeah. It's also highly centralized. No, it's not. It's it's blah blah blah. Whatever. It's ratings like Nakamoto coefficient. Trust me, brother. Solana, in my opinion, is garbage. But. It's definitely in play and you can make a lot of money. I've said this chain is garbage for a long time. Oh, well, you're a Cardano Maxi, blah, blah. Look, 
I've, I have talked ad nauseum about all the problems Cardano has and my suggestions, okay? But I think it's the potential to be some of the best tech. Layer one, layer two, excuse me, layer two tech out there. The potential. They still got to, you know, they still got to, whatchamacallit, they still got to, the rubber has to meet the road. They have to start delivering on some promises. They, they need more hits than misses. They've had some misses. You know what I'm saying? USDA, so far, swing and a miss. Input endorsers. I mean, where's that at? Hydra. I mean, Hydra, Charles just did a video on Hydra recently. They're working on it, blah, blah, blah. What's, what's, I mean, when's it gonna, when's it gonna do something? They got some other stuff going on. Laos, it's really chugging along, I guess. The Ouroboros, or Ouroborealis. It's Ouroboros, right? Ouroborealis. Coming along, Mithril, validators, Mithril signing. I'm not fully sure what all that does for Cardano. Plutus V2, Plutus V3. Apparently, DEXs are finally getting to Plutus V2 soon. When? Why is it so damn difficult for DAP developers to do some of these things? Get on Plutus V2, right? Validators to get Mithril. Why? What's what's the lag there? A lot of like. A lot of stuff that we were told in 2021 and 2022 seems a little bit slow, rolling out. A fine wine takes time to age. <laughs> well, uh, and we know, we know, Charles, you're not in it for the money. It's more, it's more important than the money. Billionaire with your Lamborghini and your Blackhawk and your ranches and all your other pet projects. Okay, I got news for you, buddy. I'm an I'm a I'm a trader first. I love Cardano. I want it to succeed. I want it to be amazing. But I also want to make money. I didn't I didn't invent this capitalistic society that we live in, where it requires money to live, where it requires money to pay your rent, where it requires money to put food on the table, where it requires money to put clothes on your back. And I'm not going to take my hard-earned money and put it into Cardano strictly for the vision, right? Oh, because I believe it's the most decentralized, because I'm sipping your Kool-Aid, right? Because I'm a, I am have the same libertarian views as you. You know what I'm saying, dog? I'm doing it to also make money. I'd like to be a little bit more comfortable in life, not have to worry about the bills, not have to worry about can I take care of myself when I'm old and feeble? I'm I'm practically there right now. Ricky in the house. How you doing, brother? With your black cock. <laughs> I said black hawk, Ricky. Black hawk. Not cock-a-doodle-doo. Jason in the mother house. How you doing, brother? You guys brought the big like energy today, brothers. Brothers and sisters. Six likes. Let's freaking go. That's pretty impressive on a day when the market's getting 10 toes down destroyed. All right, let's continue the hopium copium. Uh, Cardano factoids never failed in 2300 plus days. I think that's false. I think it's failed twice, but it was in testing. They, they wanted it to fail. On-chain sovereign wealth fund. Yeah, they got a treasury. Chain hard fork will enable on-chain governance. I don't necessarily sip the governance Kool-Aid. Like, I don't know if it's going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. Maybe. When you get a bunch of people, it, it just it just becomes, I mean, does it become political at that point? And whoever has the most staked coins and shit like like there's going to be plenty of problems with on-chain governance i hate to break the news to you on-chain governance isn't going to be some perfect utopian world 
Consistency leads decentralization indexes. Ouroboros, Ouroborealis upgrade. It's the biggest step forward towards solving the blockchain trilemma ever. Ooh. I didn't realize Ouroboros solves the blockchain trilemma. Can Ada hit $3 again? This one is the one that got me a little excited. I'm not going to lie. If you're only here for the tech, which is literally nobody, exactly. I think Cardano has the tech, but no one's here for the tech. You know what they're here for? To make some gosh darn money. Then it wouldn't matter at all, but the crypto, but this is crypto and the people want gains, son. Hell yeah, they want them fat gains. Money flow has just entered green. Let's freaking go. Uh, the last time this happened was way back here. Hopefully it stays green and we get one of these moves. For Cardano, this is the hopium copium right here. Sip it up, smoke it up, take it in. Cardano went green here on the money flow and here. It looks like it went green for a little bit right there and then back down though. Too hard to tell, he covered it up with his arrow. Maybe it didn't. It got green and then it pulled back, but it's looking green, baby. We are going into a bull run. Money flow green, money come in. Money come in faster than it come out. Guess what, price of Cardano goes up. We don't need a whole, there's a lot of FUD in Cardano, a lot. And even within like old community that are just like bailing, they'll come back though. Trust me, there are things that are going to happen that are going to make Cardano pop off. Ton coin is popping off. On like, the chain is not, I'm, I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, brothers. Ton coin is not the future of cryptocurrency and neither is Dogecoin. Well, who the hell knows? Dogecoin's a wild card with Elon Musk. That guy's got some weird fascination with Doge. Who knows? I, w I would say some shit, but I don't need... Elon could send a, a crew of assassins to take me out and squash me like a bug. Uh, money flow just in a green. A larger time frame is more difficult to reverse money flow. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, baby. It stays green. That's right. Uh, we get some real midnight news, like some midnight airdrops. I think that's what's going to cause Cardano to pop the hell off. You time that up with these DEXs that are promising these V2 upgrades. Get a little liquidity going. Get a little FOMO going. Get a little MOMO going. That price starts pumping. It happened last bull run. It's going to happen again, more than likely. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm s s saying, dog? Let's see, get a little. Uh, men swap announcement. Trade stable coins on Cardano. Let's go. Built with Aiken, audited, open. So stable coin swap. We'll check that out if I remember. Yeah, we'll, we'll check it out now. I love how it sends me to men swap. Like where's that? There should be like a stable swap tab or some shit. Oh, here we go. Stable swap. Eight of men. Like what is this? Okay. Three coins. USDC, the Jed, and IUSD. Are these ADA pools? I want to see the liquidity. And can you yield farm? US, so this might bring the liquidity to this wrap USDC and USDT I was talking about, hopefully. Uh, stable swap, 71K TVL Cardano. 71K Cardano, that's pretty weak. Uh, oh, that's ADA to Jed, ADA USDC 1.1, and then three ADA. And this one and USDC to Jed, nothing. 
Let's see, USDC, USDT. Pretty weak so far. And then Jed, oh. The Jed, pretty weak. Uh, this one, the Jed IUSD has 200K ADA. Ooh, oh, ADA the Jed 1.29. I think that's not the stable. That's been out for a while. All right, we'll have to keep an eye on those. Speaking of, and no Mahin. Hopefully that becomes something. Let's check the Mahin liquidity. Mm, nothing. Oh, scheduled update. April 9th, yesterday. So it doesn't look like not much movement there. I guess they're still only onboarding non-retail. Anyway, money flow green. No one uses it. Look at the TPS, Cardano. Yeah, we all know UTXOs, blocks. One transaction is not one transaction. Hope this clears up some FUD. Mahin is trash. Mm, I wouldn't go that far yet, but it's been a disappointing. It's been a disappointment. It's still got... Charlie had an incident. It was major. Services affected price feed for Shin USD, Inmaker, ADA, IUSD, USD, the Jed USD. I think Liquid might have had some issue with this. I don't know if anyone got liquidated because of this. That would be pretty lame. But I mean, that's the price when you do lending and borrowing. You got smart contract risk. You got um, project, whoever runs the project risks and making mistakes or rugging you. And you got Oracle risk. Oracle screw up. You can get liquidated, dude. A lot of risk. Uh, if you're bar lending and borrowing, especially when it's not like ADA. Right, if you're lending ADA, you kind of take the Oracle risk out. Um, a lot of book delayed price, the Jed delayed price, uh, data mismatch and misplacement on Opera Six. The block, the block, block Frost API began exhibiting erratic behavior, mismatch, and blah 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 blah. To be delivering ag state datum within Oracle, NFT, UATA, blah, 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 impact, blah, blah, root taken action, block frost error identified on V3 mainnet. Uh, let's see, a bunch of elimination. So they reduced the dependency on that. Implementing two different ones. I don't even know what the, we chose to pursue data acquisition strategy, leveraging Agmios and Kupo. Like I, the F does that mean? Uh, compatibility, comp, comp, compatibility problems identified. We upgrade our off-chain systems from Pi Cardano 9.0 to Pi Cardano 10.0 to address them. Um, why would that be something you should be a little bit more proactive on? Uh, we ir we initiated the upgrade of our internal server by integrating the Kupo component into two of every five nodes. Everything works as expected. Node failures affect two out of five. Okay, and they did a lot of shit. A lot of this is Removed, let's see, the Jed. Started rolling out server upgrades with Kupo and Agmios. Doing some long-term, during our upcoming, we will focus on dependencies and external parties. 
Black Frost has been informed all issues, review handling, review our node software. Yeah, this seems a little bit more like you could have been proactive. Increase team, increase team size to handle incidents. Sure, we have someone always available in any time zone. Ugh. Why was this not an enhance alert and monitoring? They got they got careless. They were four nines, which is not four four nines is decent. I mean, five nines is hard to obtain, to be honest. The difference between four nines and five nines is 99.99 versus 99.999. So four nines is pretty impressive, but they got, they got careless. They got, like who? You get careless, you get lazy, you get comfortable, and then bam, pie to the face, bitch. Uh, love the read. Great job. Solana congestion doesn't allow me to sell 54k worth of tokens. I found this interesting. I don't know if this is true or not. This could just be some made up bullshit. Too long. Didn't read. Been trading meme coins for the last month and finally came across my first winner. Made a good profit and I'm ready to exit, but my transaction keeps failing. Jason, you do a decent amount of Solana. Do you have a lot of problems with failing transactions? Uh, not able to exit, keeps failing even at 30% slippage. What am I doing wrong? Uh, it's not necessarily you. Uh, I'm not usually the one to complain, but this is getting ridiculous. The worst part is I took a loan out to invest this money, so I really need Solana to get this fixed. If you, I'm not giving financial advice, but if you're taking a loan out to invest in meme coins, that is what I call bad mechanics, bad habits. A great way, even if you make money now, you'll think you can do it again and you're gonna get wrecked. Okay? You're, you're, you're believing that people can make a shitload of money, money trading memes. Most people don't. Most people get wrecked. Hardly anyone actually really gets rich trading memes. Never, never had a transaction fail, but they are heavily congested right now. Is that what you're saying? Good morning, Cardano. Is this the best way to present Cardano as a CEO? I've often thought this. I mean, look at this guy. Poor posture in the chair. Look at that. What, like a lot of times you see his rooms that he's in. Why even have these bookshelves or what? Like there's nothing in them and it's just, Printer, a printer stacked on a plastic box, just boxes and laptops and some KY, KY gel right there. I don't know, bro. Aren't you a billionaire? If you don't got time, hire someone to get yourself a personal assistant, bro. This guy went on a pretty long rant. Oh, he just screenshotted it. Or is this it? Time. Been some there. This isn't the original post, but the guy went on a pretty big rant about him. It was pretty good. This was great. This is great. This is freaking the best video I've ever seen in my life, bro. The flex this kid does, this almost had to be staged. Again. <laughs> go, mommy, go! Again. <laughs> go, mommy, go! Again. 
I wonder if they like just this is really all the same team and they just staged this. <laughs> Go, mommy, go! Again. Why didn't he say again? More of a more of a lube guy than gel. Yeah, I'm more of a lube guy. I don't like the gel. Mm, I need to check on something really quick, guys and gals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect cartwheel. It was pretty good. I already saw that. That was absolutely. When's the first? When's the last time you did a cartwheel? Oh my goodness. If I were to do a cartwheel right now, I would end up in, I would either be dead or in the emergency room. I don't remember, bro. Probably high school. It's not like, like when's the last time your fat ass did a cartwheel, bitch? Um, it's not like cartwheels. I was football, basketball. I wasn't gymnastics. You know what I'm saying? Did a little track and field in high school. Did a lot of golf. When, when, what, what's going on that a, 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 a kid growing, a, a male, a boy, a boy growing into a man in Kansas is, is walking around wanting to do cartwheels years ago? Yeah, like what is going on in my brain that I'm thinking I need to do a freaking cartwheel? I'll tell you what. <laughs> I can call him fat because I'm fat. We're both fat together. All right, we got some new Twitter posts. Bitcoin 68.2, trying to make a comeback. Is the market, did that market reverse? E mini S&P still down 50. NASDAQ down about 170. And Bitcoin is trying to make a little bit of, a little bit of bounce to the ounce. And diddly 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 d. I'm the overweight lover, heavy tea. And, uh. If you could do cartwheels today, you would. You're. If I can do a cartwheel, I wish I could do a cartwheel. And then I would. I would do it I would I would do it live. <laughs> On Cardano transactions never fail. We call that phenomenon as deterministic transactions. Cardano at a very fundamental level has gone links to make transactions deterministic. Do you know enough about transaction determinism on Cardano and what brings it to the table? Um, they might not fail, but they could take a very long time making it practically fail because if you try and do a trade and it never hits because it takes too long. <laughs> And then your price is already out of whack. So are we cutting rates in May now? Obviously not, Dr. James Schultz. Not touching Solana meme coins ever again. 3,000 turn into 50. That's what I'm telling you, dude. That's what happens to most people. Learning lesson, brother. Moon. CNFT Moon. 
You can't pick Disney or Pixar. What's your favorite animated movie? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Lion King and Aladdin, aren't that, isn't that Disney? I don't know, bro. Let's see what people say. I hate this stuff on Twitter. Nick Sweatpants. Ratatouille. That was a good one. Brave Little Toaster. Why would this be sensitive? A lot of Alvin and the, this. I never. Oh, that I never saw the Iron Giant. It's probably Jason's favorite movie. <laughs> Yeah, none of these are really. Disney and Pixar really seem to have the sensitive content. Oh, well, that one I get. Cartwheel Shrek. Uh, Shrek is Pixar, isn't it? Shrek was a great movie. DreamWorks. Yeah, great. Is that not real? Is that some? Yeah, it's animated. Is DreamWorks owned by anyone? Why did no one pick that? That's a great pick, bro. Look at you. You're some kind of Shrek nerd. You probably have Shrek memorabilia all around your house. You collect Shrek stuff. Ricky actually coming in with some impressive land before time. Like, I'm sure you... I'm, I, that, first of all, that's not animated. Second of all, how do you even know about the land before time and the slee stacks? Jason, I know Jason knows about slee stacks. What the F do you know about Slee Stacks? I used to wake up and watch The Land before. I think it was Sunday mornings when that was on. And that Ricky, who was that Davy guy? It was always Davy and Goliath, that weird... Name the movie. I have no idea. They keep it in right. Who makes the Mount Rushmore TV frenemies? Uh, so this this may so this, if you haven't if you don't watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, it's one of the greatest comedies out there. Uh, they had their final 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 episode, like the last Curb Your Enthusiasm episode was last Sunday. Uh, they did a play on how, because da Larry David did Seinfeld too, and the Seinfeld inning took a lot of heat. Uh, they played, they 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 played off that, and the entire season was built upon that as one of its plots. And it, I I think they did he did a fantastic job with that. That's one of these shows I can go back to and rewatch all of them for sure. This movie, yeah, I know this movie. This movie was released April 10th, 1988. Can you name it? Uh, City of Angels? Is that the name, what the name of this was? I know this is the one with Nicolas Cage, and he's like, uh, oh, you're impressed, guys. You're impressed. I think that's the name of it, City of Angels. City of Angels, saw it in theaters. I did not. Or, I don't think I saw I think I saw it on VHS. It was actually a decent movie. It's weird that I can't remember a lot of things. And then I can remember some obscure movie from 1998. Are you kidding me? Like, I can't remember 
what I had for lunch yesterday and I ate the same damn thing every day. Who would you call the most stunning actress of all time? I don't know. Gap down big, buy, gap up, big, sell. Could it be that easy? Yes, mostly. Can you see something and if you do, what do you see? Uh, I don't, I kind of see something starting to form, but then I just don't. I see that my, that f my eyes up after viewing it. Oh, yeah, I kind of see Garfield, kinda. I mean, I I don't know, dude. Whatever. KuCoin will support the mainnet swap of map protocol. KuCoin can suck a big fat D. If your pastor wears a $2,000 sweater to preach on Sundays, find a different church. Uh, I would find a different church if that was a $20 sweater. I look at that shit, bro. With his little gold chain. Who does this guy think he is? I mean, this has just got all kinds of red flags. Although that does look like something Ricky would rock. As we become a risk f for the four horsemen disease. Uh, what do you think is currently the number one most undervalued stock? I don't know. This is the draft stage in Detroit. Are they trying to get people murdered? Why would you hold the draft in Detroit? It looks like the inner city too on top of it all. Wonder if Eminem's gonna be there. I don't even see any hoops there. That's kind of messed up. Are they tearing it down? I like the art. The graffiti. Oh, I forgot to do this. Iron Giant is good. Really good. Land Before Time is a dinosaur animation. Am I thinking of something different? What was the C Slee Stack one? I <laughs> I love Dave Dave single yeah. <laughs> uh, that was more like claymation, wasn't it? What was Land of the Lost? That's the Slee Stacks. I used to watch this on Sundays and Davy and Goliath. Oh, it was animated. No, it was more yeah. I remember watching this on Sundays. This is what you had to look for, because Saturdays was cartoons. It was full on cartoons, all your favorite cartoons, just on all three channels, right? And then Sunday, they kind of gave you just a little sliver, like about an hour's worth, and the pickings were pretty slim with things like Davy and Goliath. And I want to say in my, when I, growing up as a kid, I would get the sleece that uh, Land of the Lost wasn't, it was actually like real people. This wasn't prime. This is a, it was kind of a weird thing if you think about it now. That it was uh, like a, a real television show, but it wasn't prime time. I don't think. I can swear I always used to watch this on Sunday mornings. The slee stack. Uh, 
they would always run from that Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, it's, oh, Saturday mornings. The series was originally shown on NBC on Saturday mornings. It later aired in daily syndication on Saturday. Maybe it was Saturdays. Different time, big dummy. Yeah, you got me. How much cutty does the pasture get? What's a cutty? Oh, cut? <coughs> Probably as much as he wants. Remember TG? Yeah, bro. TGIF was a good time. Uh, um, I really loved this show with Suzanne Summers. What was that? That was my jam right there. Family Matters was okay, but I was the... Uh, why can't I think of it? She was fine as shit still during that time, bro. I didn't even realize she died recently. Step by step. Boy Meets World was great. Great. I love that show. And I was older than you. Like I, I was it was probably embarrassing for me to like Boy Meets World. Oh, Topanga? <laughs> I mean, that's why I like Boy Meets World, Topanga, bro. When did she die of? Man, she was fine all the way up until. She was actually fine older than when she was. Uh, there was a period where she was pretty fine. She almost looks like a, I'm not going to say it, but a little manly right there. She married a dude named Summers and never got rid of the name. Mahoney? Is that a Jewish name? I'm assuming. American actress, and she played blah, blah, blah. Or Sue, born in San Bruno, third or fourth, working class. Oh, Irish American Catholic. Oh, Mahoney, yeah. That makes sense. Summers, hormone replacement, uh, diagnosed with breast cancer. Oh, that sucks. Inoperable cancer by six doctors. Later misdiagnosed. Uh, man, that's got to be a rough. Summers had hyperplasia in her 20s and skin cancer in her 30s. Man. Mm, in 2018, she underwent experimental set to go to regrow their breast, she lost to cancer. Her death was attributed to breast cancer, which had returned earlier in the year. That sucks. She had a rough, she had a good life and a rough life, man. That's for sure, bro. That's a little depressing. Home Improvement, oh, 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 day by day. Uh, home Improvement was great. Was that on Fridays? That wasn't a Friday show, bro. Oh. <clears throat> day by day, what was that one? The American sit. 1988. How would you, dude, you're not, there's no way you're 30 years old. Noah show from 
88 or 89. I don't even remember this one. I don't think I watched this one. Uh, what was the Seavers show? Growing Pains. That was the show. I don't, that was, oh, that had Elaine in it. Was this post Seinfeld? I don't see her. Oh, Julia Louis Dreyfus. She's great in Veep. If you've never seen Veep, highly recommended. Kevin Dunn, he looks familiar. Yeah, I don't think I ever watched this show. I married a couple girls, high power careers. I I'm sure I've never watched this one. Is that Patrick Duffy? No. Kind of looked like him from a distance. Mm. Home Improvement was a Thursday or a Tuesday, wasn't it? Could put three Ds in there. What does that even mean? Oh, it's a big, I had a big ass mouth. I had a big crush on Su Suzanne Summers. Yeah. The early year Suzanne Summers. The hell is this? The early years, Suze the early Three's Company, Suzanne Summers was fine as shit. And then she got a little weird with her makeup and hair, and it didn't really do it for me. And then she got, she aged like a fine wine. She was freaking in uh, Step by Step. All right, Cardano, 57 cents. Ethereum, 34.76. Bitcoin, 68.6. Don't call it a comeback. We're still in the pennant, though. Stock market, Coinbase up $4. Hell to the freaking yeah. Miners going green. AMD can use a little help. NASDAQ down 180, E-mini S&P down 50. Not really recovering yet. Should I buy a dip? Should I buy a freaking dip? I am... Let's see, what do we got? Tesla, earnings, and 13 days. A little iron condor on. I haven't done an iron condor in a long time. Let's a skewed iron condor, skewed to the upside. Mm, I don't know if I like this. Let's go back in time. Yeah, I'm just trading the trade. All righty, okie dokie, artichoke. Kids have it way too easy these days. I like Adam. Ultimate RWA token list. Who's your favorite female singer of all time? Uh, this heart chick. What's her name? Is definitely up there. I can't think of her name right now. She, her sister played guitar. She had a one of the definitely up there. But this is female. So I mean, you gotta you gotta put people up there like Whitney Houston. I mean, Mariah Carey. 
It's not really my favorite, but her voice adds. She had a couple songs that were amazing. Um, I mean, you can go back like Aretha Franklin. See, I hate this stuff on Twitter because it makes me do this. Uh, what's her face? She, Winona Judd, no, Amy Winehouse. She wasn't around very long. Yoko Ono. <laughs> uh, Dolly Parton would be a good answer. Well, I mean, not my favorite, but a great singer. Kiss Me Deadly. Such a terrible answers. Stevie Nicks, good answer. I don't, I, sometimes you just, these pictures, the Queen of Soul, is that Anita Baker or Aretha Franklin? I'm not sure. Joni Mitchell, yeah. I liked her. The Arrhythmics chick, what's her name? Liked her a lot. Pat Benatar, huge fan. Huge fan of Pat Benatar. Big fan. First time caller. Jewel. Eh, she's a great singer. Whitney is going to be up there for me. Possibly number one. Madonna. Huge fan of Madonna. Huge. Huge. Like if I were to, I, Madonna is all over my 80s playlist. I love, I'm probably going to, I don't necessarily care for Madonna the person as much, but I do love her music. I'm going with Madonna. Whitney Houston, maybe second. The Heart Chick's in the top five, I would say. Joan Jett, good answer. Well, I mean, she had a couple songs I like. Uh, Gwen Stefani, no. I like her, but come on, bro. Ann, Ann Wilson, that's her name, right? Olivia Newton-John was pretty dope. Yeah, I'm still going. Linda Ronstadt, eh. Man, she was a freaking haughty young, bro. Are you kidding me? Her nose looks normal there, too. Am I thinking of someone different than Linda Ronstadt? Linda Ronstadt. I'm thinking of someone different, maybe. Yeah. Who am I thinking of? She's a really popular singer. I don't know. Maybe she'll show up. There's another chick I'm thinking of. That I really enjoy. What was, what was she in? Beaches? The only thing that comes to mind. Bat, Bat Midler. Big fan of Bat Midler. Good actress, good singer, funny. Uh, cornucopias. Uh oh. Core mission to stay. We're confident we become a major player in the base. Uh oh. So is this why people, a lot of Cardano people are like pro base? Uh, Cornucopia is leaving Cardano for base. All about that base. Book, what's Book doing? Book is no longer cooking. Book was cooking. It, it it oh it's coming it's reverting to the reverting to the line rejuve up three percent today mm, Jason did you know about this base news what say you 
one eight buys you eleven hundred SPX. Ooh, Matthew in the house. Holy shit. Smart places Dio backed by Porsche and Axel Springer among wait. Did you get involved in the Smart Places LBE? No. Seems like an that was uh launch bowl on Minswap, right? Uh got in the LBN farming away now with their triple farming. Hell yeah. Axel Springer has acquired some big companies like Business. One Ada buys you eleven hundred SPX. David Duchovny was on a space with Book.io yesterday. I bought his book on Book and got Bram Stroker's drive. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that's what they need. They need more people. And David Duchovny brings the nerds, man. No, I don't think SPX is a meme. I forget what it does. Social, oh, it's a social network. Yeah, we talked about this the other day when we looked at what was doing. I didn't get in it. Um, I had a little bit of a problem with the ticker name. I mean, are you down money? See how this plays out. What's its market cap? Is the social platform even working? 15 million market cap? Diluted, fully diluted. Uh, Login. Wants to know my location. I don't... I just want you to go away. I don't want to block you necessarily. You got to sign in with Web2. That's lame. You can get land plots. Ugh. Buying mint NFTs. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, th this is... Lame. This looks pretty, pretty, pretty lame. Let's go visit Jason. Where's Hollywood? Hollywood's up here somewhere, right? West Hollywood, Hollywood. Is that your house right there? Is this your land plot, Jason? All right. Who's Axel Springer? Is he the smart? I don't know who Axel Springer is. German multinational mass and online media company. Jason, no. No comment on Kopi leaving Cardano to go to base. 30 billion token supply. Their website is really nice. They have a map of all the land plots. Bottom. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm not into this buying land NFT shit. Getting about a thousand SPX per day at the moment. Farming. What's that? 50 bucks? Five bucks? Like five bucks a day? It's not lame. Read about the project or listen to the interviews. They are really after business adoption. Hey, look, man. 
it doesn't interest me. I hope you make a shitload of money off of it. Maybe you'll be able to come back and call me stupid. Kopi, Kopi token is on ETH because that's where they started. Like a lot of Ethereum tokens, like Ajax is on ETH. Charlie was on ETH. Yeah, BNB, I think, too, for Kopi. Yeah, I bought, I originally bought Kopi on BNB. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you make a shitload of money, bro. I really do. If it goes to 25 or 50. Why do people shit on Ada without understanding that Cardano? Because that's just... What is the best nihilistic movie you've ever seen? What is this even from? Is this like Fargo? Was he in Fargo? What is this from? Anyone know? Was he in Fargo? This looks like a scene out of Fargo. I've only seen that movie once and I don't, uh, that was like decades ago. Yeah, Steve Buscemi. And I, I, I'm assuming that's from Fargo because he looks. That looks like clothes they wore and cars they drove in that movie. Fargo is excellent. Yeah, the show, have you seen the show, bro? The last season of Fargo was freaking. If you haven't seen the show, highly recommended. This doesn't really mention Cardano. I'm not seeing the show, but I hear it's great. Yeah, it's really good. I would watch it. I'm. I wish I had a show like that that I could watch and I've never seen before. Um, yeah, I, I recommend, I mean, all seasons are good. But the last season, oof, that shit, John Hamm chilled me to my core. Just buy some Ada. Don't claim to be a football fan if you don't know who that is. Uh, Larry Zonka? No, I don't know who that is. Louis Einhorn? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Finkel is Einhorn. I was thinking, is that the kicker from the movie? That was a trick question. It's the first time I've started yield farming on Cardano. I got a question when I started staking or yield farming. Is this? Yeah, of course it's taxable. Uh, Coinly will be able to handle it though. That's the one I used. Yeah, so it's taxable. When you go into LP, it's taxable. When you earn, it's taxable. When you pull it out, it's taxable. No, it's taxable, bro. When you buy, when you buy the, if you sell Cardano to buy SPX tax, if you put the LP into, if you put Cardano and SPX into LP, I'm pretty sure that's a tax event because you're selling to, to get a new LP token. As you earn, that's tax. And as you get out of the LP, that's tax. I'm... 
fairly certain it's taxed because you're technically selling Cardano and SPX to buy an LP. I, and then plus it's constantly adjusting. But I think that's handled by the amount of your LP going up. Like you have more LP when you sell it back out. I'm not I'm not a CPA. I'm not a a CPA expert in crypto, but I'm pretty sure just just plug it in a freaking just add your wallet to Coinly and pray it choose it outright. Impermanent loss, which you can uh, only if you get out. Like you don't necessarily have impermanent loss until you remove the liquidity. And you got to take you got to take the loss. Coinly did a good job, bro, for me. DeFi, like DeFi and taxes almost made me, the first year it almost broke me. Because it was, it, it was a huge hassle. Fuzzies. Got a couple fuzzies on the mic. A couple straight fuzzies driving me up the wall. Calgary, fine in the house. Uh, you got a few people that like ICP. I have nothing against ICP. ICP, I'll tell you this. You think ICP is 100x this bull run? Because you're sipping, you're smoking the Kool-Aid. You're packing your glass pipe full of Kool-Aid and smoking that crystal, that crystal Kool-Aid. ICP is not going to 100x this bull run. This is the type of shit you should be clipping, Ricky. Me going in into a... OCD-induced rage cleaning up fuzzies on my mic. <laughs> Tax programs are much better, yep. I have a few tokens of on Coinly. More new coins that don't even show up on the price I bought. Yeah, I don't... You just put your wallet... You just give them your wallets. Rejuve doesn't show up on Coinly, neither does Friend. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I, it still handles your profit loss, I think. I don't really worry about if it sees the coins or not. I just want to know what I owe the United States government or what they owe me. Speaking of which, I've already got my state back, I think. Or was that federal? Uh, to, this week is payday too. Starting to build up a nice little cash position. Franchise tax. I'm not sure who that is. Is that the state or federal? CA, I think it's CA. Oh, I gotta hear this. Little Dicky. I love Little Dicky. Travis Kelsey, a little Dicky. I'm just now. It's true. Yeah. When you were on TNF, the shop, this past season, you. Oh, uh, he was on uh, their podcast. You said if you were a woman, you'd date Travis. Wait, what? <laughs> this was said? I don't know if you saw that. I didn't see this. I'm just now. It's true. Yeah. Dude, what? You said this? Yeah. I'm honored. Dude, I'll sign your d right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, very early with you and Taylor. I don't know if they were talking about how they like cut to her or just they were talking about just the idea of you and her. Okay. And I was just like, I totally get it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if I were a woman, he, he's exactly who I would go. I was like, there's no, first off, he's the best of all time at, at his position. One, he is the seeming. Did you hear that, Ricky? First off, he's the best of all time at, at his position. One, 
of all time. At, I was like, there's no, first off, he's the best of all time at, at his position. One, no, first off, he's the best of all time at, at his position. One, he is the seemingly the nicest, sweetest, like kind of funniest, classically cool guy in high school I'm vibe. Now. When you danced, it really took my, it took <laughs> The way he danced, I like, even... I DM'd you immediately. I was like, this is crazy. Like, when you did, whenever I saw you do the stanky leg for the first time, yeah, I was like, it's unreasonable to be this talented. <laughs> I've been working on that stanky leg for years, baby. How can you dance honored, so well, though. but you can't come close to doing Time it? Time out. I can't dance well? Did you not see my little Uzi vert? I saw it. Yeah. I'm, I'm right in between you two. To doing Time it. out. I can't dance well? Did you not see my little Uzi vert? I saw it. Yeah. I'm, I'm right in between you two. <laughs> I'm like dead in the middle. Thank you, have, group. If like if you let me control the edit, I will look like you because I catch <laughs> pockets and moments of incredible grace. But if you're just like leaving the camera running for the whole time, I'm really right in the middle. <laughs> uh, I might have to watch that bitch. Throw the paycheck in a snack. You're out of your mind. You need to ah, uh, snack is getting interesting. That's for sure. This is a this is an almost a no brainer to buy snack right now. Almost a no brainer. If I could send my hand over for my bank, I I might do it. But nope. Top 10 holders a ton right now. I'm going to take football takes from a guy named Little Dicky. You don't even know who Little Dicky is, bro? Uh, Little Dicky's great. His show Dave is great on Hulu. He's a great rapper for his genre. Uh, <laughs> these dudes could talk about clubbing baby seals and toms would be cackling like a hyena that's a little extreme bro i don't think that's true Down 10 pounds for jujitsu, best physique, blah, blah, blah. And the narcissism on this guy. Is this the rugby guy? I can't remember. Is this the rugby guy? Yeah. Yeah, he probably won't even make the roster. <laughs> when I chat about base, please understand I'm someone in crypto and Cardano in particular with a very long-term vision. And with this, I'm seeing... <laughs> Uh, I wrote what? Like, what's he got to say about base? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Mike Dana sign. Oh, yeah, that's old news. It's about that time, guys.
Look at Brian Johnson. Holy shit. I don't know that he looks younger, though. He just looks like he's lost all facial features. I mean, he looks like he, he looks healthier here, but that just could be lighting. He, he looks younger here. This guy spends like $2 million a year on anti-aging shit. <laughs> Base is going to be a four. We don't even know if there's going to be a base token. Does this. Does this not remind you of the snack chart before it pumped? Yeah. Again, it's a good entry. This is about where it bottomed out last time, and then it doubled. And eventually, Snack will probably hit. It'll come. It'll come in tandem with like if Cardano can get some velocity to the upside, which I think it will. Snack is going to be the coin that you're going to want to own for sure. If it, if that narrative plays out, if the if the Cardano momentum narrative plays out as uh, some of the things we discussed earlier some of the things i hope timelines can line up with this bull run snack is going to be a very good return on your money and being able to pick it up at a historical like support this is like around support i would say you know, about right here. It's right at it. It dipped right to it. Donald Trump in the house. It sped up his aging. How you doing, Mr. President? Oh, friend looks like, oh, that's friend. Yeah. Friend, uh, bro. You're way more into these meme coins than me. I didn't even realize. Yeah, yeah. I don't keep, I don't, Jason is friends, one of the one you have. How many of us have them? Let's be friends. Snack greater than Whiff. Mm, I mean, Whiff had a 4 billion market cap. Snack can't even hit 200 million. All right, guys, guys and gals. Bitcoin 68.7, uh, basically just getting back, just a little chili dipper. Little market moved down. It's getting back to where it was before CPI and shit came out. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Good morning. All right. Like I said, Bitcoin 68.7. Coinbase up three bucks. AMD down four. NASDAQ now down more. Fraser got up and then he went down again. Two, down 211. E-mini S&P down 54. About the same. And old Tesla down 551. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Today is today to come out of the cannon like an effing missile. Uh, let's do a like check. 10 likes. You guys brought the freaking heat like nobody's. But you guys came. You, you guys came out of the cannon like an effing missile today, guys. I love you. You can't spell half without Hal Finney. You can't spell half without. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, that took me a second to get, but that's pretty good. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Love you all. Be back tomorrow. Hopefully Bitcoin's pumping. We got like 10 days.